Everybody, I'm Buckeye Box from the OHIO Podcast. Thank you so much for watching our latest highlight grade video. I want you to go ahead and hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And those who enjoy it, please share it on your social media sites. We truly appreciate it. And all those things really do help us grow the OHIO Podcast site right here on YouTube and on Rumble. All right, guys, so here's the deal. Ohio State got not one, but two two offensive line recruits when they got the twin brothers from St. Ed's High School in Devante and Deontay Armstrong. Uh, this happened yesterday, and we are going to go ahead and review Devante's uh, highlight video today. So without any further, to, further ado, let's jump right into it, shall we? All right, Devontae Armstrong's measurables. He plays offensive guard, and he's ranked 353rd overall nationally. He's the 23rd highest ranked interior offensive lineman in the nation, and he's the 13th highest ranked recruit in the state of Ohio. 247 Sports give him a, a grade of 89. My grade is 83. Of course, I tend to be a little bit lower than 247's composites in general. High school is St. Ed's High School in Lakewood, Ohio. He's currently 6'5", 288, and that was at the time that uh, probably at the beginning of the season. I think he's actually a little bit bigger than that now. Uh, he committed uh, as of uh, two days ago, March 27th, 2023, and he played on St. Ed's, which was the Division I state champions here in the state of Ohio. All right, guys, let's jump right into his highlight film here. You're going to see he's going to be on the left side of the offensive line. He's left guard. He's playing right beside his twin brother there, Deontay, uh, who's the left tackle, so 74 and 71. Uh, those are the numbers you need to look at for the uh, Armstrong brothers. Of course, he is the guard. Now, what you're going to see in his highlight films is a lot of that right there. He is great at finishing blocks. He plays a little nasty. And I like that in my offensive lineman. I don't think he's dirty at all, but I what I do think he is is he loves to get in the headspace of his uh, opponents. Great run by the quarterback bouncing off the tackler right there. That's why you got to wrap up, kids. But um, you will see that there's there are clips where a defensive lineman uh, is getting very frustrated with him. Look at another pancake there finishing the block. Look at that. See how that defensive lineman's getting frustrated. Little extracurricular activity. He gets up clapping his hands. He's excited about it. He plays nasty. And look at that, man. You just, just get behind me. Let's get to the end zone. Follow me up the backside. It's going to be six points all day long. Um, he's got great length. Good arms, great feet. Very nice. Uh, he's got that long wingspan with his arms, but he has great feet. There are so many highlights that you're going to be watching over the course of the next five to six minutes that they pull him from the left side to the right. Here we go. Well, there's one. Look, it just destroyed that linebacker. Just clocked him. Again, we're watching number 71, the left guard. And he will pull... And he gets out in front of the runner and becomes that lead blocker on a lot. They like to run that out of the goal line quite a bit, too. Uh, you'll see that in a lot of their highlights. Here we go. Coming down, crashing down on the inside. Play goes to the outside, but the defensive tackle had no chance at all. Um, he gets that leverage on you. You might as well forget it. Here we go again. Makes that hole. Running back runs where he was. Easy touchdown. Great block. I think this one's a pull here, if I'm not mistaken. I've watched this several times. Nope, this is pass blocking. Okay. So, St. Ed's has got not one, not two, but three Division I Big Ten offensive linemen. Of course, Devontae and Deontay Armstrong are both going to Ohio State. And then Ben Ro Roebuck, who is another top 20 offensive lineman, uh, was the bigger name of the three. He's played varsity ball a little bit longer than uh, the Armstrong twins has. He's going to that team up north. Um, no wonder St. Ed's was able to win the Division I state championship when you got three uh, high, high-level Division I college athletes on your offensive line. That's a lot of man right there uh, for these running backs to run behind. But 
I believe we got the better two offensive linemen here. Now, I liked Ben Roebuck a lot when you watched his film, but he is he is much slower than the Armstrong boys are. They are extremely athletic. Mentioned that quick those quick feet that they've got. These guys have had to really put on weight the last couple of years. They were very very small as sophomores, and in order to get onto the starting offensive line as juniors, they had to put on about thirty five to forty pounds. So they were more tight end bodies. In fact, I believe uh, both, if not one of them, were actually playing tight end for their high school. So this is something that they've had to work on is their weight. So they can easily add some weight um, to these frames. The um, six, 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 seven. I don't think they're done growing. That's the thing. I think these guys are going to end up about six, seven, six, eight and somewhere around the 305 to 310 area uh, when Mickey Mar Mariotti gets a hold of them, gets them in the Body by Mickey program. Um, these guys are going to be extremely lean, athletic offensive linemen. Um, so there's definitely potential for them to grow. Now, I will say this. My favorite of the two is is Dion, Deontay. I believe he's got more, a little bit more upside there at – offensive tackle that you see there on the left outside here especially when it comes to pass blocking but i don't i don't necessarily think that that we should just throw Devonte out as kind of the afterthought here i do think that it might take him a, a season more to develop to, compared to his brother but i do believe he has got tremendous upside and that's what this is all about in recruiting is you want to get guys who are not only some of the best in the nation, but you they have a higher ceiling, if you will. And I think both these guys have extremely high ceilings. They are late bloomers. These are two guys who weren't really uh, big names in the, the 2024 class until after their junior years here. And then it's like, oh, okay, these guys are something to take a look at. Ohio State all obviously offered both of them. Uh, I know Penn State uh, was recruiting them pretty heavily as well as the team up north. Um, and obviously with Ben, their, their teammate going to uh, the team up north, I'm sure that there was some kind of uh, teammates trying to persuade them to uh, to go with him. But they both decided to, that they were going to be Buckeyes. So this is a this is a, a two-for-one deal, which doesn't always happen. Look at that. I'm just going to finish that block, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Love how he plays a little nasty. Got to have that with my offensive lineman. Again, watch this all the way across the field. I'm going to drive. He drives the defensive lineman 10 yards across the field, opens up that hole there. Um, here we go again. I think this is probably going to be a pull. Usually is on the goal line. There he pulls and touchdown. There we go. And finish the block while we're at it. <laughs> so that is the name of the game for him, man. Quick feet. Here, we're going to do a little pass blocking. No one there. Let me go see what's happening beside me. Go help out there. Nice job. There was one highlight. I don't know if it's come through yet where it's it's uh, he passes one guy off and picks up the blitzer. That's that's some next level stuff. You don't always see that in high school ball where the offensive lineman is able to think uh, on his feet that quickly. Um, he's obviously getting tremendous coaching from St. Ed's. They've got some great coaches there. There's some nice pass blocking right there. That's what he's got to work on more. And that's, that's in general from offensive linemen in the state of Ohio is they're usually pretty good run blockers, but they've got to work on their pass blocking. No different here. That's something that's going to have to come along, but he's got the body for it. And that's what I love about it. He's not just a road grader. He's an extremely good athlete. And so those good athletes tend to be better pass blockers than your big bodied offensive linemen who are just road graders. Um, for being as tall and as, as athletic as he is, he really get, look at how low he got right there when he get, got set. I mean, that he can get down and get a really athletic stance for an offensive lineman, gets that big butt low, explodes out of his uh, of his stance, and really gets them hands into the uh, defender. So here's my grades for Devontae. Position techniques, 16 out of 20. Is it the best I've seen? No. He He's only played one year of varsity, okay? Uh, he's had to grow into this body. 
He's working on these skills, but again, that ceiling is really, really high. Um, I'm I'm really excited to revisit his video after his senior year and to see the development from his junior to senior, senior year and see if that position technique can grow a little bit. Here's where I'm really high on him. Supplementary assets. The guy is incredibly intelligent. He's well-spoken. Uh, all of the things outside of the lines of the field, he is tremendous at. Um, these are the type of guys you want to have. These are high-character boys. Um, come from a good family, and all the extras outside of what you saw in the highlight film, I'm extremely high on. Watched several interviews with both of them, and they both are very, very good young men. Very impressed with them. Mama should be happy. Highlight video comparison. Um, not, not so high on the video. I think there's some good things. It is growing on me. 14 out of 20 is kind of me being maybe a little bit critical. Um, I've watched this thing probably about 10, 15 times now, somewhere around in there. Every time I watch it, it does grow on me a little bit. I'm finding little nuances in the highlight video that I like, uh, like his hand placements, things of that nature. Um, but he's, he's got some room to grow. And I think that Devontae would be kind of the first guy to say to you, yeah, I've, I've got some room to grow here. His effect on Ohio State's class, 18 out of 20. Not only does he come, but like I said, it's a two-for-one deal. They buck Ben Roebuck and uh, the um, Team Up North persuasion, and it's two more Ohio offensive linemen in the class, which I love. I, guys, I love Ohio offensive linemen. It's the one position, in my opinion, that you don't have to leave the state of Ohio for. You absolutely do not have to leave the state of Ohio when it comes to finding Division One offensive linemen. We've got we've got the market on that baby. So, yeah, the fact that these are both Ohio boys from St. Ed's, Lakewood, Ohio, coming down to Columbus, yeah, I'm I'm pretty high on that on their effect on the class. 18 out of 20, and the fact that it's a two for one is really big for me. Overall impression, I'm going to give it a 15 out of 20. I think that, um, you know, the, given the technique, given his comparison of the highlight film, I kind of, let's just average those two out, give it a 15 out of 20. But it's the extra things, the supplementary assets, the effect on this class. Those are really high grades for me. I give it a B, which is how I came up with my 83% which, like I said, is just a little bit lower than the 247 composite raking of 89. Call me a hard grader. Uh, I guess I am. But um, that's that's the highlight film. That's what I saw. We're going to dive into his brother, who I am a little higher on. I'm not going to lie. Deontay Armstrong. We'll dive into his video here in a few days, I still got to go back and get the other offensive lineman from Indiana. We'll do his. And there's a lot of buzz uh, that recruiting starting to pick up over at the Woody Hayes Athletic Center. And there's going to be some more highlight graded videos coming your way. Again, please like, share, subscribe. We really do appreciate it. And it really does help out the channel. Till next time, go Bucks.